Hi, and thanks for watching this video. We're going to be talking about finding perimeter of various shapes. Now, it's a pretty easy concept, but a lot of times the perimeter is mixed up with area. Now, the area inside of, say, a square, a rectangle, a triangle, whatever the shape is, is the space inside. Okay, but perimeter is the total distance around the outside of the geometric figure. So let me show you some examples. Here we have an irregular shape. It doesn't really fit any kind of formula. Um, if we're going to find the area, we would be cutting it up into little pieces and finding the area of all of those and adding them together. But to find the perimeter, we need to figure out the distance all the way around. So let's pretend that we're going to be standing right here, and if it's on the ground, we're going to be walking up this way. There's 10. There's 5 more feet. There's 4 more feet. There's 3 more feet. 2, 2, 8. Uh-oh, what is this distance to get us back home again? Well, we kind of have to do a little bit of a detective work here, but notice how um, this distance from here to here is the same as the distance across here. So if I go in two, and then three more across this way, and then five, right? Because the four is the up and down part. So what is five plus three more plus two? Well, of course, that whole total would be 10. So this would be 10 feet also. Even though it's not marked, we can figure it out. So perimeter, usually we use the letter P. All right, so obviously it's going to be 10 plus five plus four plus three plus two plus two plus eight and then finally plus the last ten there okay total distance all the way around in feet should be 44 feet all right so obviously very easy you just have to add up the distance all the way around now if this is a square I'm gonna make sure I mark it that way all four sides are the same and these are right angles and if one side is measured and we know it's a square, then obviously we have 6 all the way around. Now, at first, some students will make the mistake of doing 6 times 6. That's the area of 36. Remember, perimeter is if we're going to walk all the way around. Okay? So, the perimeter in this case is going to be 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6. And the answer, of course, would be 24 inches. All right, now the shortcut, because it's a square, could also be four times the side that's measured. All right, a lot of times you'll see the formula of P equals 4S. That'll be squares. You have to have all four equal sides. Now here we have a rectangle. And again, what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that we know all four distances. So if this is 3 and it's a rectangle, we know this is 3. If this is 8, then we know this has to be 8, right? It's all centimeters. So my perimeter would be 3 plus 8 plus the other 3 plus the other 8. And that would be a total of 22, 22 centimeters. So again, a pretty easy concept, but how can we speed this up a little bit? All right, I'm going to focus on the perimeter of rectangles and a couple of formulas we can use. Let's say we have a rectangle, it looks like this, and we know it's four miles from here to here and nine miles up. So what is the perimeter? Very good question. Well, let's kind of figure out the missing uh, measurements here. If this is four across this way and it's a rectangle, for sure we know that has to be four and this has to be nine, right? So obviously we can just do four plus nine plus four plus 9 for a total of 26 miles perimeter around the rectangle remember it's not 9 times 4 that you were thinking of area okay perimeter distance around the outside now notice that there's a couple of shortcuts here keep in mind that perimeter is the distance walking around the outside of it so if I'm going to start here and go this direction I'm going to go 4 plus 9. Alright, so 4 plus 9. 
Now notice how much of the perimeter we have walked. We have gone here and here and we are exactly at the halfway point. And instead of adding 4 and 9 again, let's just double what we have. So one way to think about this is walk halfway around and then double it. Now let's see if that gives us the same answer. What's 4 plus 9? That's right, 13. What's 2 times 13? Yep, same answer, 26 miles. All right, now let's kind of put this in algebraic terms as a formula. Let's say that this is the width, 4 is the width, and let's say the 9 is the length. Width and length. So putting it in formula form, we could say perimeter is 2 times the width plus the length. Okay, that's one way to do the perimeter. Now finally, there's another shortcut. Again, picture ourselves uh, standing right here, and maybe we're walking around a curb or a garden or something that has a border. I can't go through the middle, so I have to go around the outside. And let's say I'm going to go over here 4. Now I know that up here, I'm going to have to go 4 again. So let's think about this. Let's say that the perimeter is the 4, but we're going to go ahead and double that because we know there's two of them. And then we also know that we'll be walking here 9, but there's another 9. So we're going to add doubled 4 plus doubled 9. Isn't that really what we're doing? We're going to just take these numbers here and add them in a different order. That's all. Now in algebraic terms, 2 times the 4 is really 2 times the width. So we could say 2w and 2 times the 9 is really 2 times the length. So, there's a couple different versions of the perimeter formula, and you see them right here. Now, the bottom line is that if it's a rectangle, you can find the perimeter in two shortcut ways. There's two formulas for the perimeter. Again, you could take the width plus the length and double it. That's like walking halfway around and then doubling the distance. Or you could double the width and double the length and add it together, which is exactly what's happening walking around the rectangle. All right, thanks for watching this video, and I hope it helps you understand perimeter.